This is Esther. And this is Roos. Hi, I'm Mimi Mitchell. My name is um, Stefan Schäfer. I am uh, connected and teaching at the Breitner Academy. My field is early music, which is a 20th century revival movement about how to play music of the past. So we've basically been very curious towards each other's practices and the experiences that we encounter in our practices are becoming subjects of our conversations and part of each other's fascinations at the table and on the floor. And the title of this project is uh, Breaking Apart Together, Performing Speculative Design with Dying Mountains and Glaciers. Counter in many more things, like, for example, in knowing and not knowing, in taking risks, in learning to detach, in ways of touch. I put a call out for musicians, for academicians and teachers to rethink, re-evaluate and reboot the early music movement. New methodologies, non-historical instruments, new technologies, changing historiographies and pedagogical perspectives. This might have resonance with the problems you're facing in your own field, recreating historical acoustics. So if I had all the equipment and loudspeakers and microphones with one touch of a button, this room would sound like the Hagia Sophia in Istanbul, Turkey, with 10 seconds of reverberation. Oh, wow. <laughs> it includes certain uh, following questions. Um, what role can speculative design play in enabling humans and non-humans to face and respond to the death of glaciers and mountains? Can mountains and glaciers be equal collaborators in the design process regarding climate crisis? How are people moved emotionally by the physical movement of mountains and glaciers as they cope with future ecological grief? And what impact have future deaths of mountains and glaciers for non-humans in the direct surrounding? On a personal note, why am I interested in, in mountains? This is me in 1986. From this moment, mountains and glaciers for me always uh, appeared magical, but also some kind of everlasting or, or immortal. As they, they were always there, they were massive. I want to do something um, about it as well, some work. The first work that I once made is a memorial shirt, and memorial shirts have the ability to act as a conversation piece, and one of the essential function is to allow death to enter the, uh, the conversation in daily life. It's like morning wear, actually. You know, with humans, even when they are talking about glaciers, it's all about them. Glaciers are cool. <laughs> no, literally. <laughs> I think they are cool collaboration partners uh, in an art-based research project. Um, the bear, the yet unknown. They preserve bits of atmosphere from thousands of years ago in tiny air bubbles. They can reveal past atmospheric conditions, temperature variations. They keep history sealed, they bear memories, they can release emotions. So you relate to the ceiling, but also to the space behind you. Also to the space on the sides of you. Also to the space in front of you. What we're going to do, or what I'm going to ask you to do, is to move gradually from a position that's standing upright to lying down on the floor for a duration of four minutes. <laughs> 